Hey folks, welcome to a new Master That Gear video. Today I'm going to be looking at the EP Booster by Exotic USA. Uh, this is another one of their um, holy trinity of mini pedals. Uh, if you saw the, the Master of the Gear video I did an SP compressor, this is similar design basically. Really solid um, casing here, done a nice kind of brushed uh, steel kind of look. Uh, it's really weighty, again this is 260 grams worth of, of pedals, so it feels really high quality. Good construction of the switch and stuff as well and it's relatively straightforward because we just got you know a single boost knob on here so this pedal gives us a maximum of a plus 20 db boost um, and we've also got a wee dip switch in the back as well to basically um, change the boost a little bit the initial boost and also a little bit of EQing as well so there's a little bit more hidden away in this that we'll look at in the, the demo video but really it's, it's meant to be based on kind of the uh, Echoplex um, that some players used to use as a preamp, so guys like uh, Eric Johnson and uh, Eddie Van Halen and Andy Summers probably um, best well known for using that actual preamp rather than just using the kind of echo device of it. But this is a you know really nice uh, quality kind of pedal. Uh, so let's plug it in, uh, have a listen, and see what it gives us. So I'm just running the pedal straight into my Victory V30 amp. So this is uh, the kind of clean sound, and this is the a bit chumbucker. Neck pickup. Nice kind of clean sound there. So let's have a listen to the EP Booster. I've got to set about 9 o'clock here. This is what we get. So you can hear, obviously, you get a bit more volume boost there, but it's add just a little bit of bottom end to it there and a little bit of top end too I think actually a bit off again neck up pick up there So let's try um, up at 12 o'clock now. So I'm adding a bit more boost here. You can see it's probably about 10 dB. So this is the bridge humbucker again. And a clean sound. A little bit more. Again, more volume there. And you can hear it's beginning to break up. That's obviously what's going to happen here because I'm pushing the front end of the amp a little bit more. You're going to get a little bit more um, kind of an overdrive coming in. But there's nice picking dynamics there as well. If I pick lightly, it responds to it. Yeah, I'm going to try it on the, that neck. Off again. With a boost. Well, 
Okay, let's crank uh, this boost right up. So we'll turn it to about three o'clock here. This is what we get. So actually with the off, this was the bitch humbucker, remember? So even those high output pickup going into a clean sitting here, it's not overdriving it too much too much. You know. But with this on you can hear that big volume hike there, plus it's beginning to push stamp a lot more. On the neck pickup, remember this was with the uh, pedal off. You need the volume dip already. Okay, with that on. Yeah. And here's much bo more bottom end there, and you can hear the, the higher strings ring out a little bit more too. But again, you can hear you've got the dynamics there too. Now, one of the classic ways of using a boost pedal is to push uh, an amp that's already kind of overdriving. If you think back to the old Marshalls, people would just crank them up, but if they wanted a little bit more extra sustain, they'd have to push that front end a little bit more. So, what I've done is I've set my amp uh, to kind of Kind of a crunchy sound. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'll push the front end with the EP booster. So this is it back down to the nine o'clock again. Okay, so nothing on it there. Here's with the pedal. Again with the pedal. So you can hear when I click the pedal on, a lot more bottom end in there. Okay, let's try it at 12 o'clock. So this is the, the guitar again without the boost on. Boost on. Sustain there. Great thing about this approach though is I can roll back the volume and I have a lot more kind of dynamic control with the guitar. Yeah. I try it with the neck, single coil. So this was a single call just in this overdrive. Okay, and with EP booster. Yeah, a lot more bottom end, which you can hear with these single calls. Okay, let's crank it right up uh, to three o'clock position here. So again, this is the bridge humbucker. Okay, now with the boost drawing. Got that nice um, uh, kind of lead kind of sound there. So this would be a great way of going between, uh, you know, more of a kind of rhythm setting if you're playing. 
and then if you're coming want your soloing or a bit more kind of clarity to punch through <laughs> It's a really cool sound though. Now another way to use the boost is to stick it in uh, your amps effects loop if you have it. This is the way I tend to use it. So by doing this really what you're doing is you're using it as a volume boost, a bit more of a transparent volume boost or any EQ that the pedal has which we'll hear EP Booster does. Um, so that way what you're doing, the way I like to use it is I'm using most of the amp to get my sound and then if I want like a solo volume boost I'll use the like boost in the effects loop. So what I've got here is back to our clean tone. Okay. So what I'm, we'll hear here is when I activate the pedal, I've got it by nine o'clock again, I'll hear the volume increase because I'm, I'm boosting that uh, volume, but I'm also going to hear any EQ characteristics of the pedal. So this is the, the sound, and then we're with the pedal on. A bit more of a hi-fi sound there. Um, you can hear a bit more bottom end, but there's the. I'm not pushing the front of the amp anymore, so I'm not going to get distortion. If that makes sense, you know. The neck pickup. Hear the volume hike here when I press it on. Now as I increase the, the amount of boost we've got here, all I'm going to hear is more volume. So this is the up at 12 o'clock, uh, no boost, boost, so massive volume hike there. Do the same thing in uh, that neck pick up, a single coil. That's it off, and then with the boost. So you can hear with this, you can hear the kind of the sound of the pedal, if you will. So you definitely get a bit more bottom end to that, and you get a little bit more kind of top end brilliance to it as well. really here in the neck single coil. Now again settings it's the same sort of thing basically I, you'll get a volume hike here rather than any uh, extra distortion or sustain. This is the way I typically run things. I run like um, like uh, the most saturation I want and I use the volume on the guitar to control that for rhythm sounds or different pickup selections and I use the boost really for volume. So again just a reminder this is what just left the amp in that kind of crunchy kind of setting. So with the, the boost here at 9 o'clock, this is what we get. Yeah, so you can hear that there's a slightly different uh, tonal quality to it. But I'm not getting any more uh, sustain or saturation. Now if I move that up to 12 o'clock, uh, I don't want to clip the microphone here, but let's, just, let's see what happens, so. No boost, with a boost. Okay, so massive volume hike there. So that would probably be, even live, that would be too much of a volume hike, unless you really, really want to let everyone hear your awesome guitar solo. Uh, probably live, I would have that set more down a bit here. You know, just for a little tweak, you don't want it to go crazy. And because it's in the effects loop, I'm not going to be affecting the, any sustain overdrive. So it'll be very rare that you'd be boosting the volume that much, you know. Let's have a look to see what uh, versatility we get with the dip switch built in the pedal. So it's easily accessible just by taking the back off. And we have a little red dip switch in there. And we've got basically switch one and switch two. Now switch one controls the default um, 
boost that you get. Now, by default, even at the minimum setting, the pedal's gonna give you a plus three dB boost. So this is the amp without uh, any boost on it. And I've set the control of the pedal way down to zero, so there's no, um, no boost coming in with the, the control knob here. So if I switch the pedal on, Subtle 3 dB boost there. Could be handy for soloing, you know, if you just want it to bump up the volume just a little bit. So switch one is now off, which means we've got unity gain. So basically with this uh, pedal turned all the way down, what I should get here is no boost at all, but you might get a little bit of the kind of the EQ kind of sound of the pedal. This was on. Switch two is a bright switch, so by default that's on. Which this just a little reminder. This is what it sounds like. Okay, so let's have a listen to what it sounds like with the switch off. subtle but you do lose a little bit of the kind of top end there so there we have it that's exotic ep booster hopefully this video has given you a little bit of insight what the the pedal actually sounds like uh it's looks simple when you first look at it because it's just one knob you know cable in cable out one knob but um with the added dip switch in the back it gives you a little more uh, kind of versatility that you might not get with your kind of other kind of boost pedals plus it has quite a unique uh, sound to it it's really great for uh, thickening up things so it's good for single cars i suppose i mean this is if you want to just give you a little bit more kind of bottom end there or accentuate that plus you've of course you've got the highs in there too uh, so, great pedal. I tend to use boost pedals in the effects loop, but uh, it sounds great in either effects loop or pushing the front end of your amp. So if you can, um, give it a, give one a shot. You know, it's tricky to do so, I know, but uh, see what you think. And let me know in the comments below if you own one or um, you've tried one out, okay? So, stay tuned. Uh, I've got yet another uh, exotic pedal to do, so I think... Um, if you keep an eye on uh, my Instagram account, you'll find out what the next pedal is going to be. But it will be the final of the holy trinity of the Wii Mini pedals. So until then, have fun. <laughs>